Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforay.com. In this video, we are going to discuss about the difference between virus and bacteria in detail. First of all, starting with a question, which is the most successful living being in the planet? It is not a human being, it is not the giants like blue whale, it is undoubtedly bacteria, the most successful creatures literally can live anywhere in the planet. Even in Mars mission, we are looking for the presence of bacteria, for the presence of life. And there are some particles that is much simpler than bacteria that is exhibiting some qualities of life inside the host that represent viruses. So let us see the difference between bacteria and virus in detail. Difference number one, starting with the definition. Bacteria are unicellular prokaryotes or organisms where the genetic material is not surrounded by a nuclear membrane as in eukaryotes. Whereas viruses are subcellular particles or it can be even simpler than it doesn't have a cellular organization. It is exhibiting some characteristics of life as it is having genetic material. It can replicate inside the host using the machinery of the host. Bacteria can survive anywhere on the planet. This is a hot spring where you can see the thermos aquaticus bacterium that is from from that bacterium we isolate the enzyme tac polymerase for pcr polymerase chain reaction so bacteria can live anywhere even icebergs or hot sulfur springs bacteria can survive it can live inside or outside the host whereas viruses are strict intracellular infectious agents always requires a host to exhibit the characteristics of life for replication it always requires a host so viruses can be crystallized even outside so it is considered as living as it is showing some characteristics of life it can even can be considered as non-living as it can be crystallized outside it doesn't show living characteristics outside the host difference number two it is regarding the size bacteria is visible under compound like microscope the size of bacteria approximately ranges from 200 to 5000 nanometer and this is the range of bacteria 1 micrometer this is approximately 10 raised to minus 6 meter and this is the range whereas viruses are visible only under electron microscope approximately 20 to 400 nanometer in diameter so viruses are somewhat 10 to 100 times smaller than bacteria and they can be viewed only with the help of electron microscope Difference number three regarding the shape. Bacteria exist in different forms. The most common forms are coccus, this is round shaped or spherical shaped, bacillus, rod shaped. The common example is the curd bacteria lactobacillus, then spiralis, that is twisted or spiral shaped, whereas virus, there are many symmetries. There is helical symmetry, that is the virus genetic material is surrounded by the protein coat. The shape of the virus is all about the shape of the protein coat. The protein coat is spherical, then it is spiral, helical virus, and if it is icosahedral or cubical, then it is cubical virus, cubical shape, cubical symmetry, and there is a complex symmetry that is showing both these, both these cubical and helical, that is the shape of bacteriophage, that is called the complex symmetry. So viruses exhibit helical, cubical and complex symmetry whereas bacteria, the most common forms, bacillus, coccus, spiralis, vibrio, etc. Difference number four, that is regarding the structure. Bacteria is a typical prokaryotic cell with DNA, it is cytoplasm, you can see the ribosome, plasmid, there is a peptidoglycan -like cell wall and there is flagella for locomotion. So it's a typical prokaryotic cell. And genetic material is always circular double-stranded DNA. So it's a typical prokaryotic cell. Whereas virus doesn't have a cellular organization. It is simply a genetic material that can be DNA or RNA that is surrounded by a protein coat which is called as capsid. The individual unit of capsid is called as capsomere. Sometimes there is an outer envelope as in the case of HIV which is made up of glycoprotein. We can refer our previous videos for more information about the structure of virus. So genetic material in virus can be DNA or RNA 
Never both. It can be single stranded or double stranded. Difference number five that is regarding the replication. Bacteria normally divides by binary fission. Simple division. It's an asexual reproduction method, and bacteria can divide in 20 minutes, and it can be numerous millions of numbers within 24 hours. Other mechanism of gene transfer include transformation, conjugation, and transduction. We'll be discussing that in our later videos. Regarding the virus, virus there are two cycles. One is lytic cycle, another is lysogenic cycle. Lytic cycle, once the viral genome is injected into the host, this viral genome takes over the machinery of host and multiply inside the host, ultimately causing the lysis of the host cell. But as lysogenic cycle, this viral genome, once inside the host, gets integrated into the host genome and remain there. You can refer our video on difference between lytic cycle and lysogenic cycle for more details. Difference number six, that is regarding the pathogenicity and treatment. Bacteria, 90% of bacteria are beneficial. Without bacteria, we can't even live. As the number of cells in our body is much lesser than the number of bacteria present in our body. That suggests the importance of bacteria in our life. And it causes localized infection. Common infections include skin infection like eczema, wound infection, etc. The treatment is by using antibiotics like penicillin, examples like penicillin, amoxicillin, etc. Whereas viruses are harmful infectious agents, they are widely used in recombinant DNA technology and gene therapy as vectors, but still all are infectious harmful agents. They cause systemic infection as in AIDS. The infection actually affects all throughout the body, causing disruption of the entire system not specific or localized in a specific area. Vaccines are commonly used to prevent viral infection. Upon infection, the treatment methodology include the use of interferons. Interferons are antiviral proteins. Difference number seven. Some common bacterial diseases include E. coli, the most common bacterium and the most studied bacterium. It causes food poisoning, it's a fecal bacterium. Then mycobacterium tuberculosis that is causing TB tuberculosis. Viral diseases include coronavirus that is causing common cold and there is no treatment for this and this virus will complete the life cycle and will be relieved within one or two days. Then there is varicella zoster virus that is causing chickenpox. These are some common diseases, common bacterial and viral diseases. Please don't forget to subscribe, share and like. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsorry.com.